All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Friday, and that means we are playing Moonlight. And uh, something interesting came up. The Yu-Gi-Oh! community actually is talking about something. I, I kind of like it when the community gets together, sits down, and actually discusses the topic. It actually makes me feel good inside to you know that, you know, that despite all the various channels and uh, despite some of the divisions and opinions and stuff, that we're still a community at the end of the day. So the big topic, I think the last big topic that the community was talking about was should Naturally Obesity Banned? And we got, you know, various videos responses from various people. Uh, this time it's actually talking about power creep. And uh, I might as well give my two cents in, on the topic since I am also part of the community. And, uh, you know, maybe I can uh, uh, shine some light on the, the subject as well. So uh, pretty much the people are wondering and, and uh, various opinions are going around that, uh, uh, is power creep bad? Uh, in my personal opinion, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think power creep is actually bad. I think it is actually a good thing that Yu-Gi-Oh is changing and evolving and growing. And while it sucks that not all decks are created equally, I mean, for goodness sakes, I'm basing on on my entire channel on something that's not created equally. I mean, come on. I, 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 I you know, you bell. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna let that go just because there's really no threat. I mean, I really don't care about uh, comma two. Now, if you have, like, comma 1 and you want to spin me back, I'm probably going to have to say no to that. No, I don't really care about comma 3 either. You know, comma 3 gets the search, but it's kind of meh, mute at that point. Okay. So you're just going to go ahead and attack me directly? That's fine. You can have that. That ain't what I'm mad at. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> the Senju's... I still don't really like this deck. They kind of get on my nerves like spirits because they always go back. Meanwhile, you didn't get comma 1. That's interesting. Definitely thought you were going to, you know... Get some comma one action, but I guess not. All right, you're gonna go ahead and kill my rabbit, and uh, sucks that I have, my rabbit has to die, but I need to activate my uh, my reincarnation. So I am I got me a poly, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and definitely get me sheep, and I can get me tiger, who can monster born one of my monsters. So that's pretty good as well. It's just uh, once again, there's just not a lot of things. Like I wish they had. Uh, what is Fluffles monsters? Isn't there like a Fluffle cat? I wish they had a cat that when you, it's used as a fusion material, you get the poly back to your hand. Like cat, like, like that would just be great. Uh, why would I return the tanky to your hand? Oh, with with rabbit. Like no. Uh, well, there's no point in having you. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and grab tiger. Yeah, like oh, I just said. I guess he's thinking rabbit effect, but no. <laughs> Like, why would I ever do that? But, yeah, you know, like I said, not that all decks are treated equally, but it's good that the game is evolving and changing, and mechanics are getting stronger, and there's actually a reason to purchase things and and buy the product, you know? Uh, <laughs> Mega Capital G made a good point. So the response to Mega Capital G and a, and a, a response to Glasgow, uh, that a really good point was actually made. All right, so I can either discard this card to add a Moonlight Monster from my graveyard to my hand, except for Black Sheep, which is really weird, because it doesn't matter which materials I use, so it's all good. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and activate Tiger. Then Tiger will go ahead and summon me back Bunny. Uh, Bunny, when do you go off? Once a turn, you can target up to the number of controls other... up to the number of other Moonlight Monsters you control. Okay. Oh, I mean, I can go ahead and, uh, I don't think I can fuse multiple times, though, because I don't have enough polys. Well, I guess I can get another poly. I'll go ahead and activate you. No, I don't want to cover it. I want to get me another poly, because I might be able to just bust out, uh, uh, Leo. And if I can bust out Leo, that's, I think it might be again. I don't, I can't really think off the top of my mind anything that, uh, you send you play that can touch me, you know? It's just gonna be pretty difficult to pull off. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I can summon you. You will summon you back. You will return that back to his hand. Polly, summon uh, her. Then I can get. I will get my rabbit back because the black sheep. Then I can Polly again into uh, into uh, Panther Dancer, and then I can use this to banish. Actually, you know what? I'm probably gonna use this. It's monsters. You control it. Banish. I'll probably do the the wolf first. So. I'm going to go ahead and normal summon my sheep. As long as that back row is not something to fuck me up, I should be okay. But watch that one piece of back row like that. I'm just about to return to his hand. Watch it be that. And this says up to, right? Up to, yeah. It says up to. 
So go ahead and activate Liger. Go ahead and summon back Bun. These effects are negated, aren't they? Yeah, they're negated. I'm thinking about maybe Solemn striking that. Just so he doesn't get multiple draws. Because I'm, I'm about to go off. Yeah, I'll Solemn strike that. I'm about to go off. <laughs> I'll Solemn strike that. I, I, no, I don't want you to draw. I want you to have as many, as least amount of resources as possible. So when I handle this situation, or if I handle this situation, I got it. So we'll go ahead and fuse. Go ahead and go into Cat Dancer. Sheep effect. It's card to control, right? Once you're turning, you can send my monsters from your graveyard. The bench monsters you control or have in your graveyard. So I'd rather go ahead and do no, because I don't want to do that because Panther requires two, and I only have one. So I have to poly now and then use and then use Wolf. So we'll go ahead and poly once again. We'll go ahead and go into that powerful uh, Panther Dancer this time. And we'll go ahead and activate Wolf. And Wolf, go ahead and banish and summon me, uh, uh, Leo. And look at that. This is power creep in a sense, because, you know, it's the fusion decks are getting stronger and stronger. Everything is getting stronger and stronger. And, uh, like I said, Mega Capital G makes a good point. Uh, like, what do you, how far do you want to go back to the point of power creep? Because not all decks can be created equal. No decks are created equal like that. So, uh, to say that and to that extent, it's really not fair. <laughs> uh, that what's the point of purchasing products? What's the point of uh, of uh, paying money for this game and getting the next best deck or the next best thing if the game's not going to evolve because there's no such thing as power creep? You know, it just it just sort of doesn't really make any sense to me that someone would think like that unless they're just absolutely hating on the meta, which it seems like that's the case. But you know, you got to keep in mind, meta gets hit and meta turns into non-meta eventually. You know, like it, it, like. Uh, you know, wind-ups, everybody used to hate, well, I can't say everybody, a nice majority of the, the community used to hate wind-ups. Wind-ups got hit, you haven't seen much of them? Can you really say in a, in a, in a conscience that you still hate wind-ups to this day? No, because they're not meta. It, it, it seems like more of a hate on the meta than really a hate on the power creep. You know, and that's what it, that's what it seems like uh, Glasgow is kind of getting at. Alright, well, that's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. God, I'm just like, you send you, you send you, you send you, you send you. Like, I'm getting jumped. I'm getting jumped right now. I'm kind of wondering when he's going to go into the handle Leo Dancer. If he can handle Leo Dancer, that's pretty much it. Pretty much. Maybe. Because he still has some back row, too. I mean, I can always go ahead and use Wolf and banish uh, her and her and summon another Panther Dancer. But still, like, if you can handle my fucking Leo Dancer, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but, uh, it's, 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 it's actually interesting that, um... That mechanics, there's it's definitely, there's no dispute that me some mechanics are stronger than others. Uh, fusion's kind of weak, you know, Ritual's real weak. Uh, and you got Synchro Summoning, C7, Pendulum Summoning, but uh, that Konami actually took the time and effort to try to bring those mechanics back and adjust them and make them, and bring them up gradually. And, they, you know, there's a line, you know, uh, that uh, there's some, that are going after, that some people want to go after the dev, the dev team and raise their pitchforks, and it's just like, well, but why? You know, why? <laughs> I don't understand what, what's the what's the point. Because one, I I seriously doubt Konami's listening too much, and two, you act like they're doing like a terrible job. Wow, fan, phantasmal dragon. All right. <laughs> so, uh, this card just cannot be targeted for an attack. Who would have thought that I'd run into phantasmal dragon who can obviously fuck me up? Like, all right. <laughs> Okay, uh, I mean, there's not much I can't, I can't, I absolutely cannot attack it, and this doesn't affect the player, but it affects the card, so that kind of sucks, it really does kind of suck, and, uh, I don't have anything, like, monsters that, that affect it, you know, if, if, uh, if Luna, if Luna Lights or Moonlights can't attack, they can't do shit, so, this sucks, this card makes an attack, once you turn this card attack, the end of the time, step and destroy all special summon monsters your opponent controls, but I can't attack, period. Once we turn... If this card attacked a, attacked a monster, but I can't attack, period. Like, I can't even select this as an attack target, right? This card can attack you directly. Your opponent cannot attack any harpy monsters. Target any for, yeah, effects or targets. Then in phase, attach. So, he's just going to beat me by attacking me directly. He blocked my attack. He blocked the one thing that makes Moonlight's good. You know, and while I may have summoned my big-ass boss monster, he's probably got me because he's just going to poke me directly. Like, wow, I didn't know I was dueling fucking, uh... Uh, I didn't know I was dueling fucking tunes, because <laughs> that's exactly what the situation is going to turn into, it's just me dueling against tunes, like, 
I guess I'll go into battle phase, can't do shit, and then just end my turn, and then he'll just go and poke me with Phantasmal Dragon. It's like, wow, I just got tuned. Wow, that's a big space. Like, I, I thought I hit space twice with that space. <laughs> I just got tuned. Like, just just attack me directly. It's one of the... Or, or what? Or what? <laughs> Like, I can't touch his monsters, I can't attack him, and he's gonna attack me directly, so... That's game. GG! <laughs> Swear to God, I, I hate attacking over monsters. I think that's one of the dumbest mechanics in all of you. I really do. You're supposed to interact with your opponent. You wanna hit me directly? Get through my monsters first. Like, that's how, that's how I feel about that. That's how I feel about attacking directly. That's why I do not like Watson, I do not like Toons. Because that's exactly how the situation goes. They're not interacting with you. They don't give two shits about what monsters you summon. They're just gonna hop over them and hit you directly. It's just like, wow, alright. Well, I, I have monsters for a reason. You kind of want to duel them. Like, I got burnt out. I got burnt out. Some of my, my boss monster and everything. He, he couldn't handle the boss monster, but he just burned me out. It wouldn't be the first time. I believe uh, there's actually, uh, I'm a tournament for Tower Turbo. Was just, I, I had tower in the field, and I still got burnt out with life points uh, because I was doing against Volcanic who ran counter, and I kept on getting burned. So, uh, Along with me playing chicken game and shit like that. So let me go ahead and get another duel. Be right back. All right. Yeah, uh, while it seems like Necros and Shadows and all that were, like, really, really powerful, uh, for their time, uh, they were really innovative, I must say, they were really innovative to go ahead and try to bring those mechanics back. I'm gonna go ahead and take it a turn slow. Uh, then target one with my control, against okay, Silent Attack, there's really nothing I want to play right now, so I'm gonna take it slow. Uh, cause if I play anything, I'm gonna reveal my deck, and I don't really want to do that right now. So, if he, if he OTKs me, fuck it, he OTKs me, that's just Yu-Gi-Oh, right? But, uh, uh, you know... Like, before before Necros, before Necros, was there any good ritual mechanic? Of course not. Rituals are booty. Like, they're, they're probably one of the worst mechanics ever. Uh, you know, Monarchs made Tributing good. Necros made Ritual good. Shadals are a great fusion deck. It's just, you know, there's just so many mechanics that uh, uh done really well. And uh, sometimes they're a little bit powerful. Because uh, if you remember, like I said, Meg Capital G, Gem Knights, remember them? Remember uh, Gishkis? Those were like the precedents, the the precedents of of uh, Shadals and uh, and uh, and Necros as those mechanics, and they were just not not as powerful, not as powerful enough to be uh, worn playing. So we didn't see them. But as soon as they kind of stepped up the game, and we started seeing uh, uh, you know Necros and Shadals, we're like, oh shit, you know, let's go, let's get the ball rolling. Like, who would have thought that a ritual based deck would ever be uh, one of the best decks in Yu-Gi-Oh? I don't think anybody would have thought that, you know. And uh, that's actually one of the interesting things about uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is that it's ever-evolving, it's ever-changing. And, and Konami, uh, despite making thousands of cards per year, it's just everything gets better and better. That Every single time you turn around, it's just like, wow, look at that mechanic, wow, look at this new mechanic. And uh, while you may be a little bit salty that some decks are stronger than others and not every deck is created equally, it's understandable. Uh, and some cards are not created equally, that's what we have the ban list for. That's really what we have the ban list for. To uh, make sure that uh, everything doesn't go too crazy, uh, because I mean, you can't. Not everything is created equally. You know? I mean, come on, come on, like come on, Norton, Norton. Like we didn't have to go with Norton. We didn't have to see that extreme, and yet you know, here it is. Here it fucking is. Here is Norton. So wow, and he actually got the one card that I definitely wanted. I wanted cheap. I wanted to cheat to pitch to get my poly. Now I, I don't even have a poly right now. Like wow, wow, and then another one, another Omega, like. Mega still has his fucking shenanigans. Yep. <laughs> Not all decks are created equal. I, for some reason, when I saw his name and I saw Shirahashi, I was like, Shirahashi kind of sounds like Shirinui. Sounds like I'm going to be getting some fucking zombie action on, you know? And, uh, Nkosi, Zombies, Mizuki, Omega, like, we're seeing, already seeing some shenanigans, so... Yay, I guess. <laughs> That's really all I had to say about that situation. It's just, yay, I guess. <laughs> So, uh, and so he could still pick something out of my hand and fuck me up, so I'm always just trying to play as if, uh, I won't get fucked up, but I'm gonna get, probably get fucked up. <laughs> uh, yep, there's that Solemn Notice, yep, yep, of course he has it, like, he opened up the tits, he opened the tits, the Solemn Strike, the Mizuki, the Ragaki, the Insta Fusion Norden, like, the, like, look at this, look at this, so Solemn Strike, Mizuki, Unizombie, or did he send Unizombie, I think he sent Unizombie, no, did he, cause, no, no, he did, he did. He sent this from the deck to the guy. Right, so, so Silent Strike, uh, Unizombie, Regeki, Instafusion, like, he opened up some tits, and he still has another set. Like, that's the crazy thing. He still has another one. Like, holy shit. 
Um, kind of trying to think what I want to do. I can go ahead. Uh, uh, you control again, thousand attack. You, you can banish this card. I have summon one from your hand. I mean, butterfly isn't that good. I'm running two butterfly. Uh, I can go ahead and play her. She'll banish these two, and then I can summon her. Then fuse, poly, and do that method. I think that would be best. So, go ahead and play wolf. Just you know. Uh, another talk to make of how you talk about his trap cards, you know? The trap cards are getting better and better as well. I mean, look at Strike. He, it almost does everything. And sometimes it just seems like trap cards have to do that because trap cards go, fade in and out of popularity. Uh, you know, Ring of Destruction and Capulse, they're not that great right now. They're really not. But, you know, Solemn Strike, I mean, let's go. So, uh, the in and out of popularity is definitely one of the things that you see in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I believe that this bitch is 2,900, right? No, this bitch, 2,800. Uh, once a turn, can't be destroyed by battle. Oh, no, just like attack opponent's monster, can't be destroyed by battle. So, eh, it's not the best of cards, really. I think maybe I should take it slow for right now. Because this card can't be destroyed by battle, and I don't really see him destroying me by card effect too much. Even if he does, I still have wolf, so. Or I guess I can just play uh, Butterfly and then attack over him. Yeah, no, yeah. Because, can you only have to back on this turn? So that cannot be negated. Once per turn, you can banish. No, I can, I can have multiple wolves and stuff. So I think I might go ahead and uh, I could poly with her, summon her, and then use with her. I guess that's the best I got, really, right now. So. Oh, he's just going to hop out of out, hop out of lay right now. Wow, and he's just going to pick out a card out of my hand before I can poly. I mean, that kind of helps because that really wasn't the thing I was planning on doing. So that's fine, I guess. But... Still. <laughs> so before I fuse the target, which I, I'm glad that he picked that target and not the other one because I was planning on doing that. Uh, got the card snatched out of my hand, so that's fine. Kind of wanted to use this and attack over him twice and fuck him up, but nope, I guess not. <laughs> so, I guess I'll get my cards eventually. <laughs> so I got her back. Oh, they both come back. Is it during your next standby phase? During your... Opponent, stand by phase, you can banish, blah blah blah. Turn your graveyard. Turn your weapon, you can banish one card until your next stand by phase. Alright, so they come back. You might be able to just game me right here with Mizuki shenanigans and Xena Zombie. Might be able to just game me right here. Sucks too. So now all decks are created equally. Okay, him just going off with Insta Fusion and, and Mizukis and Yuna Zombies and Omegas picking shit out of my hand. Not created equally, but I, I'm trying, you know, and that's, just, that's, that's the fun in Yu Gi Oh! That, uh, that there's so many different cards and so many different decks that uh, you just play what you want to play, and that's 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 one of the things that makes Yu-Gi-Oh great. I must say, uh, I I never I never say that power creep is the thing that makes me dislike Yu-Gi-Oh. I'd say it's luck. You know, I'd, I'd say that maybe luck is is just so involved because it's a card game and there's nothing you can do about that. It's a card game, and that uh, that you know you run around and say you know people are so skilled in Yu-Gi-Oh, but there's just so many factors of luck that how can you really determine how someone how skilled someone is in Yu-Gi-Oh when things and stuff occurring are also based on luck. Yeah. All right, so pick another card out of my hand. Pick another card out of my hand. <laughs> oh, and Burial too. Yep, yep, get, get that Burial. <laughs> so return Mizuki again. Look at this, look at this. It's, it's, like I said, based on luck. And then I'm never going to get those cards back again. Yep. <laughs> based on luck. He gets the cards that he needs, like, all the fucking time. Yeah. So that's, that's fine, I guess. I still might be able to do some plays. Possibly, but that, that sucks, of course, of course. Burial is, like, one of the last cards I want to see right now. Just return that Mizuki for more Mizuki shenanigans. Like, let's go. Ah, <sighs> I mean... That's what the ban list is for. The ban list is to clean up things from the past and things that they kind of made OP in comparison. All right, he would, he made a bills which you could have just ran me over anyway. But now, like I said once again, my opponent stopped me from attacking. That's all, that's all this deck has is attacking. So I can't kill bills by battle. What do I do? I lose. And uh, it sucks that this deck is something like that. I wish this deck could be like a, a card or two, make it a little bit better. But it's only as good as the cards that Konami gives me. And not all decks are pretty equal, but the ban list. That cleans it up, you know? Like, if, if we stop Power Creep, like, what do you want to do? You just unban all the cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! and let things go right? Or should we just ban everything that's stronger than any other thing? Like, 
I'm, I'm just kind of confused with uh, what uh, how uh, Glasgow wants to handle the situation. You know, it just doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, what do I have in my graveyard? I know I have plenty of shit in my graveyard, so I could go into my big boss monster, but what's the point? Like, I can't get over bills. I can't. I can't. I can't really do anything. Uh, I, the only way I'd be able to do shit is if I summon back Wolf, but I don't have anything to summon back Wolf and give me a Pierce damage. If I was at, if I cheat, if I cheat back in my hand, no, not even that. I'd say I need. Uh, I mean, like tanky or something. I need to search for a, a tiger, and then tiger could reborn my wolf, and then I would get my no. Because even that summons it back with its effect negated. Who summons it back with its uh, with effects not negated? I think that's funny, right? So I summon you could target one of my monster or graveyard, especially some of the target defense position. So yeah, that would, be, that would be like the only way that I'd be able to win this duel. So I might as well just go ahead and scoop it up and get another duel because there's no way I can get that situation. Once again, blocking my attacks, Moonlight Zeus. Simple as that. So. You got it. You got it. You made bills. I don't know why you put them in defense mode. I don't know, but, you know, I'm dark. It's not like I can drop onyx on you, so, I don't know. Uh, get one more duel in for this video. Be right back. Alright, we have another duel in. Uh, you know, the ban list. Blindness generally cleans up things and, uh, makes improvements on past mistakes, so I, I appreciate that when it comes to, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, that, uh, well, we could go with rotations. It's good that you can play any card from any format as long as it's not in the ban list. I like that. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, going against that, I'd say, in my opinion, a much better fusion deck right now. Like, all right. <laughs> all right. Being, seeing some Dante action. Uh, I, I, in my opinion, I think that, wow. Never mind. It's just a rank three deck. Like, let's go. There's Moon, uh, Phantom Knights with the, with the Dante, with the Speed Rides. It's rank three, rank three, rank three. Let's go. Like, okay. Not the biggest fan of this current situation, but all right. Um, uh, I, said I could poly. That's pretty much the best I got. I can poly and I can poly again, and it wouldn't be a terrible play. So poly, then we'll poly again, and if something targets me, as long as it's not selling the strike, that should be okay. Because I do have fusion recovery, so we'll just go ahead and drop your attack to zero, even though that really doesn't do much. Then we'll go ahead and play fusion recovery. We'll get that poly back, and uh, I guess we'll get bunny back. That's pretty good. I might be able, maybe, no, I don't think I can. I don't think I can, because I need two monsters. So, yes, go ahead and target cat. Cat will summon back. I mean, rabbit will summon back cat. Go ahead and bounce that back row for me. No, nah, because I need two monsters. If I had one more monster in my hand besides another poly, I would have totally had it, you know? I would have totally had it, but instead, nope. <laughs> that sucks, too. That sucks. That's fine. You can have that, that ain't what I'm mad at. Uh, then we'll go ahead and go into Answer Dancer. I need one more monster. Damn, like if this poly was another monster, I would have had first turn Leo. Instead, I don't, so. Uh, Mox is good for in the graveyard, but I seriously doubt there's gonna be anything. Oh no, there might be, because he might go ahead and summon his uh, rank three Phantom Knight guy, so. Yeah, despite leaving you on the field, I think I'd rather fuse with you. And I can't even, like, tribute you off like I do with Cat Dancer either, so. So go ahead and activate my effect to attack twice, because it really doesn't matter. Oh, wait, he can't select my, my rabbit as an attack target because of the Fog Blade, so that's pretty good. So we'll just go ahead and attack twice. Oh, so I guess I'm okay for right now. I have to strike uh, if he tries to go into his one... Uh, Monster card. Uh, not only do I have the strike to block him, so if he attacks my back row, I can block him and kill him. Wow! Uh, I did not know we were doing OCG. I did not know that. Harpy's Feather Duster it always fucking jumps out the bushes and stabs me because I'm not paying attention to what fucking, yeah. I did not see fucking OCG or whatever. Like, holy shit, I got fucked up. Like, I don't know why people want Harpy's Feather Duster so bad. Like, look how sacky that was. That took no skill at all. It's like Regeki, except just back row. Like, that took no skill at all. Just bam, Harpy's Feather Duster. It's not even like Twin Twister where you gotta like even out with resources. I mean, we evened out because I happen to just have one set card, but still, like, we don't need to have to together this. We got Twin Twister, and that's the most balanced card we're gonna get when it comes to wiping back row like that. At least you can't really fuck up my monster too bad. Even though I might stop him from targeting me anyway. Just another one. Like, alright. Another Levier, and he's just going. Alright, so summon that back. And what, you got a boots in your hand, or you did you already summon boots this turn? Oh no, he has, does he have one? Yeah, he has wings, so he can just banish special summon a cloak. Or he can do that. Or he can do that. 
Card cannot be destroyed by battle, so you take no battle damage from either. Uh, also, any battle damage either player takes when battle involving this card becomes zero at the end of the damage tap. Yeah, like, wow. <laughs> so, Harpy's Feather Duster fucking wrecked me. That Solemn Strike would be wonderful right now. Like, holy shit, it'd be like, mwah. I would love to have my Solemn Strike, but I lost to Harpy's Feather Duster, because fuck it. But yeah, I was just talking about, Banlist clears up things, you know? Some cards are more powerful than others, and at the time, they're okay, but then they start getting worse and worse, or, you know, connections start to be made. Like, I, I, I don't think that Pepe was a mistake, you know? Some people are like, oh, you know, Pepe was a huge mistake, they should have never made it, you know? It's like, I don't think it was intentional that Pepe was that good. I, I really don't. I really did not think that it was intentional that it was that good. It just happened to be a couple of cards that connected together that just became really powerful within themselves, and that's why a ban list does. It clears up those mistakes. Now, when you have those standalone OPS powerful cards like, you know, Spell Book of Judgment, then it's just like, oh, hell no. But, uh, uh, like I said, some cards they just seem like, uh, that it just happen to connect. Like, you know, before Skullcrab Joker and Sorcerer, if Skullcrab Joker and Sorcerer really never existed, I don't think that anybody, uh, would kind of like bat an eye at a. Uh, I'll just block that and gain it. Like I said we're gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm fucked either way. Like it doesn't matter. I'm fucked, right? Uh, <laughs> fuck it. I guess you know. Maybe I'll go ahead and get lucky. Cause now if you can't target for an attack, at least I won't die. <laughs> it's just I gotta kill you before you activate your effect again next turn. I would love to go ahead and draw Wolf. Like Wolf would be fantastic right now. Please. Ah, uh, got tanky. That's not what I needed. It's not what I needed at all. So I guess I'll play the tanky, but I, I, I need. I kind of needed a wolf. Uh, some of the monster packs effect negated. Uh, but I would need another monster. Uh, I would need another monster because even if I get tanky and I, I play tiger and tiger would summon me back you, I would need another monster to go ahead and make my uh, top lady. So I don't think I can. That sucks. <laughs> Once again, I'm, I've, I'm, I'm hindered by the fact that I'm missing one Moonlight Monster. I could have busted out last turn, I could have busted out this turn, but nope. <sighs> I don't think I've ever used, I haven't used her this duel. I'm gonna go ahead and get Cat, and then I can fuse you two into my uh, Cat Dance who can't be destroyed by battle. Then I could drop you down to zero and kill you, so that's not a terrible play. So cat, we'll go ahead and drop you down to zero. I mean, I'm holding on to this duel, it's just, you know, I'm just asking to be fucked up. Like, that's the sad thing, I'm just asking, I'm just saying, like, hey, hey, fuck me up real good. So, we'll just go ahead and kill you. So you can't use your effect next turn, but he has so many plays and so much revival and so so much resources. Like Phantom Eyes are good because they float so hard. Like I can understand why this deck is doing so well in OCG a little bit. Like I don't think you need to go with all the extremes, all these run threes. Like really, what the fuck is that and shit like this? But you know, just you know, this right, more your monsters, this getting you absolute search. Like you, you still got plays for days. While I'm probably gonna sit here and get fucked. I'm already patterning out of resources. But hey, that's just, that's just the. The game, that is just the game <laughs> that we play. So, uh, so I, I'm never salty about uh, the power creep. You know, if the deck is stronger than mine, alright, that's fine. But what I am salty about is when I lose because of luck. You know, when, that my opponent gets the tits and I get nothing, or, you know, I just get bad luck, I don't get what I need, because I have not got what I need in this duel. I, I, hope, I was hoping that maybe I could bust out freaking, uh, uh, Dancer, uh, Leo, but, nope. <laughs> nope. Well, he, he just like, oh, got this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and then Harpy Shredder Dash, like, I don't even know where the fuck that came from, and did not see, I, and that happens to me sometimes, where I don't pay attention to what they're hosting, because I don't expect anybody to really host OCG stuff like that, you know? So, when that happens, and I get fucked up, it's just like, oh, fuck, you know? <laughs> I mean, that's not the first time, I think someone actually was hosting an OCG duel, and I got fucked up by Harpy Shredder Dash before, I kind of remember that, so... Well, I can't be destroyed by battle, but you can just go ahead and take me. So, yep. Yep. There goes a nice chunk out of my life points. Is that Harvey's by the Duster? Scrappy by the kind of fucked me. I was hoping to hold on to that strike, and that strike would have definitely been helpful. Like, his Phantom Knight really hasn't saved me too much. It's just this utopic future that's gonna fuck me in the ass. Like, yay, I got King of the Swamp. Yeah. And, and I can get a Polly. Like, and? 
Like, really, and. So I think that's the game. Because they'll just attack me, take me again, attack, attack, game. So, I can set him. <laughs> but, still, that's game. Well, he can just go ahead and use the effect, pop him, pop this, and then attack me, attack me again. So that's game. That's game. I, I don't think I won a single duel in this video. Half an hour, and then we won a single duel. But, hey, it's not Power Coach's fault. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just dueling a weaker deck. I, I still think this deck is missing something. I... I think that Moonlights and Lunar Lights are just missing something. I really want them to get a monster that when it's like uh, like a uh, uh, Fluffle Cat that when it's used as a Feeder Tarot, you get the Poly back to your hand. It's nice that Sheep, it's like, hey, you get the monster back to your hand. That's cool and all, but I really like that Poly back to my hand too. It's just like, I have to run fucking Fusion Recovery. Wow, and you're just going to turn into Vankloth too? It's just insult to injury. Let's just go ahead and turn into Vankloth because why the fuck not? Since why the fuck not? Let's turn into Vankloth. Just, just hur hurry up. Hurry up. God, hurry up. You got it. Up. You got it. Damn. He's sitting there plucking, touching himself and playing with himself. Like, holy shit. Like, if you do one more play outside of just attacking me, I'm just going to hit the surrender button. Because now you're just being a dick. Like, you got it. There's no reason to fucking summon this max chain. Go to Dank Law. Do this. Do that. Do this. This Attack. Game. That's, that's all you need. All right. <laughs> like, stop. Just stop. So, uh, yeah. So, that's, that's my opinion of it. Uh, I don't think that we that we can go to either extreme. We can't unban everything because that's just chaos, and we can't ban everything. And where where we take it to? Like power creep is just it's just how Yu-Gi-Oh is. If you don't like it, then don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's simple as that, you know. It's like me not liking luck in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like there's nothing I can do about that. And you know, storming Konami's buildings and doing all this extreme, you know, picketing and rioting is not going to do anything. Like just go with the flow. It's just how Konami is, and they're making the game innovative and new. You know, like. Who would have thought that when uh, original Yu-Gi-Oh that they were gonna come up with you know uh, GX with it's like hey more fusion and uh, you know oh look 5D synchro oh that's new Zexel oh my God you know let's XC that's cool now pendulum summoning like what is next the game is ever changing ever evolving and Yu-Gi-Oh has existed for you know I think this year is the 20, 20 year anniversary twenty years people uh, <laughs> of Yu-Gi-Oh and it, it definitely wouldn't last to twenty years if the game never evolved and changed that every deck was exactly the same the cards were exactly the same that we had the same exact mechanics it wouldn't it wouldn't last twenty years so uh, I'm glad that the game is ever changing and evolving and just that, that's my two cents about it so uh, tell me what you guys think about Power Creep do you think that it's uh, completely unnecessary or and that we should just stick with uh, what we have in the past or you know that you know decks getting stronger ever changing and evolving is what is necessary to keep Yu-Gi-Oh alive. So, I apologize if I didn't win any duels. Like I said, this is a perfect example of talking about Power Creep, but doing against decks with Power Creep that just, you know, completely outclassed me, outplayed me. It's just like, damn, you know? Uh, like I said, Lunar Lights, it's a fun deck, but is it a good deck? No, not really. I hope it gets, like, a couple more cards that, like, if this is the end of Lunar Lights and this is all the cards I can get, they're not strong enough. They really aren't. But, you know, maybe if they can get, like, a, maybe like a card or two, then maybe we can talk. But I'm just having a hard time busting out that Leo, and even when I do, I still get beat. So, I don't know. So... I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Tell me what you guys think. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I believe that our deck suggestions will be going up soon. So, it's going to be rotating out uh, uh, the decks on Daily Duels. Which is definitely not something we could do if the power creep didn't exist. That if new decks didn't come out. I mean, if everything was the same and no new decks were stronger and it came out. Then what would we do on Daily Duels? Just play the same deck? Sounds boring. But, you know. It seems like every time a month rolls around, we got a couple new decks or decks that we haven't tried out. That's what makes uh, uh, just Daily Duels in itself a fun experience. So, uh, yeah, call it up, said, and uh, see you guys next week. Uh, I believe next week should be the last week of Lights, unless you guys want it for another month. But I've just been having a hard time with this deck. It's just not strong enough. It really isn't. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.